guys and welcome back to my channel and another cook and clean with me this is Sunday night and I have been so busy this weekend I'm doing about four different projects at once and I wanted something that was going to be quick and easy and pizza roll-ups sounded perfect so to make these I just use the great value brand crescent rolls I like to get the butter flavor that is a little bit flakier I think but any kind would work and just going to open them up and unroll them so that I can fill them. So I bought this Sargento Blends 5 Cheese Italian. I never had used this before, but oh my goodness, this stuff was so delicious, so flavorful. It's like a blend of five different cheeses and oh my word, so good. So I just broke each piece in half and it was kind of crumbly, but it was totally fine. And then I added two little pepperonis to each crescent roll and then just rolled them up. So while you're watching me roll these up, I thought that I'd just give you a couple other different recipes that you can use these crescent rolls with. They're super versatile. I like to put um, barbecue chicken in them or you can put butter and cinnamon and sugar to make a dessert or you can put ground beef and onion and cheese and then a little ketchup and mustard. It makes them like cheeseburger croissant um, or cheeseburger crescent rolls. Or you could also make them like breakfast, so you could put like scrambled eggs and ham and cheese, or just ham and cheese by themselves, or you could put roast beef and provolone, make like an au jus, however you say that. <laughs> um, there's just so many different things you can make with them, and they're so quick, and like if you need to feed a crowd or you need an appetizer, this is the perfect thing for that. So then I just took some butter and this McCormick garlic herb seasoning. It was out of focus here, but that's it's just made by McCormick. And that stuff is so good. And it's got all the seasonings already in it with garlic and everything. And I use it on a lot of stuff and it's so flavorful. So I just um, sprinkled some on top of this butter and then just stuck it in the microwave for like 30 seconds and then was ready to brush on top of these. And this made these even, I mean, they are so good, but this just really sets them over the top. And I baked these in the oven at 350 for about 15, 13 to 15 minutes. And at the end, I broiled them for like one minute just so that they were nice and toasty on top. And then they were perfect and so delicious. So that was dinner um, this Sunday night. And we were going to, we just used some of this ragu um, pasta sauce to dip them in. And then I wanted to have some salad on the side. So we had some of this um, sunflower bacon crunch salad. Um, and dinner was delicious, but it's now time to clean up the kitchen so I'm just gonna be putting some things away and then loading all my dishes into my dishwasher <laughs> So 
So I get asked about my portable dishwasher a lot, so I thought I would just answer everybody's questions. It is a portable dishwasher. We store it on one side of the kitchen and then I pull it out and roll it up to the sink whenever I need to load it. And then I do have to turn it around and hook it up to the sink to run it, which is kind of a pain. And then when it's finished, I just roll it back to the other side. But um, my countertops are too low to actually have a dishwasher. As you can see, it's taller than my countertops. I don't know why, but this is a very old house and it's just how my kitchen was made. And if I was to um, make raise the countertops, I'd have to get new cabinets and then I would have to also get a new window because the window is too low. And you know, if you have an older house, you know that once when you do one project, you usually have to do five or six more projects. So until I'm ready for like a complete kitchen reno I um, just have to deal with a portable dishwasher if I want to have a dishwasher so I'm thankful for it and that's um, so that's why you'll see me rolling it across the floor I have a lot of people wondering about that So you might have seen me just use my Mrs. Meyers um, dish soap, which the lavender scent is my all-time favorite, but it is always sold out at my Target. The, the spray is always sold out, so I'm using my Method Citrus spray right now, which I like too, but I just love that lavender Mrs. Meyers, and if I can find it in the spray, I will, but I may have to break down and order it online, so <laughs> in case you're wondering what products I was using.
Now I'm just using my good old broom and dustpan. I don't have, a, I used to have a vacuum that I could, uh, instead of having to use my, my broom, I could vacuum my kitchen floors, but it, the battery died on it. So for a while I've been using my broom and I actually like the broom because I can like fit under little things and I don't know, I just, I guess I'm old fashioned, but I really like using my broom and dustpan. I do like the other vacuums too and I may purchase another one. I just haven't found the one that I want to get yet. This is the area by my back door and I'm sure that you're probably sick of hearing me say how much rain we've had. I heard that we had 175 days of rain last year in 2018. That's nuts. But I mean, we've had so much rain. There's been so much mud. My dogs have tracked mud in here. I mean, it's just been insane. So this little area, I'm always trying to clean it because it just always seems like it's a mess. <laughs> So I wanted to show you this new mop that I got. This is actually the first time I used it. It's by Bissell. It's the Power Force Liftoff. And I'll link it down below in case you're interested in it. I just got it at Walmart. It was not expensive. Um, but I used to have a steam mop that I loved. And it ended up dying. And I, it's been years since I got one. And I didn't want to invest in something super expensive right now. I just wanted to try this one out. It was around $50 at Walmart and you just fill it with water and plug it in and it's super easy and I thought I would give it a try and I was actually very pleased with it so I'll show you how uh, much dirt it actually got up off the floor. This blue blinking light, um, I think it blinks until it's ready and then it's, I think that's when the, it is warm enough for you to get some steam. So I did a really good job. I just did the kitchen and then by the back door in my little laundry area and I was really happy with it. But just laying my rug back down this is a little like rug stop um, I picked up this buffalo check rug off of Amazon I've seen them on um, many people's houses and I just of course love buffalo check so I wanted to get one I will link it down below it did come with these little sticky things for the floor and they did not work so as you can see I got a lot of dirt up off my floor and it's a super easy removal you just pull that pad off and drop it in your uh, washing machine and you can use it over and over again which I really like that so that is it you guys thank you so much for watching and for all of your support lately um, well for a while I've had some really great comments you guys are so sweet I appreciate all your sweet comments about my kitchen yes I have an older house but you know I love my house and I love to share it with you all and not all of us have a brand new modern kitchen but mine is farmhouse style and I really love it and I appreciate you all and your kind words about it hope that you appreciate or hope that you liked this video give it a thumbs up if you did that would help me out a lot and i will see you guys next time bye bye